Hi and welcome back to Sea Squirt Artistry. My name is Candace Claiborne and I'm so excited that you are watching this video. I have had an amazing ride over the last five and a half months uh, since delivering our baby girl Wisdom Rose. And if you guys have not watched the beginning of this playlist, then be sure to do so right here. And you can watch our latest video over here where my husband and I did a quick summary right before we delivered our baby. Um, about things that we were learning together as a couple and suggestions that we have for other couples going through the process of um, pregnancy. And so without further ado, I have so much I want to share with you. So get comfy, grab something to drink, some tea or some water, and uh, let's get started. So the first thing is labor and delivery. Labor and delivery. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, my labor and delivery was pretty good. I mean, to say the least, um, we went in with a great doula, which was very helpful. Um, I'm so glad that we had our doula. She was extremely helpful. Um, my husband was there, my mom and my mom in love, my mother-in-law, she was there as well. And the doula was just super helpful. I mean, she helped me breathe. She had the ice chips. We had the um, the essential oils and the lights were low. Tommy and I actually had a playlist that we were playing. Um, and so the whole process of really the labor was very, very um, smooth for me personally. I did feel a little bit of pain here and there. Uh, but honestly, it was not as bad as I've heard some other people's stories. Of course, everyone's pain tolerance is different. But I really went in with the belief and the mindset that this could be a painless labor and delivery and my although I felt the contractions they were not super painful um, really up until the very end and I went into labor around 2 a.m. actually on my due date I know our daughter is one of the five percent of babies that are actually delivered on their due date so that's pretty neat um, we went into the hospital about 2 p.m. that afternoon and things were progressing and I labored naturally without any medication or um, epidural or anything uh, until 10 p.m. that evening and I dilated up to about six centimeters and at that point um, our baby's heart rate was beginning to drop I was spiking a temperature and um, she just was not dropping down um, into my cervix and she hadn't been really for the two weeks prior we had really been working and praying and walking and doing all sorts of things to help her engage into my pelvis and so that was already a concern but we had a great OB and uh, she really you know allowed us to just go through that process of laboring as long as we could and uh, at the end of the day we ended up having to do a emergency cesarean at about 10 30 p.m. that night and by then I did start feeling the contractions super strong um, it was so crazy because I'm like trying to sign these waivers and papers and I just was in so much pain at that point um, I think the hardest part of that portion of the labor and delivery was trying to sit still when I was getting the spinal um, so that they could do the cesarean on me but I didn't feel anything during the cesarean Tommy was in the room my husband was um, Tommy was there and so when they took our daughter out, he cut the umbilical cord, they brought her over to me. I was pretty out of it um, until, you know, I got back to the room and then I was able to nurse her immediately. And so we had that skin to skin. And so overall, you know, it was a really good labor and delivery. Again, yes, some of the contractions were um, intense and painful at times, but I was able to work through it. My water break, uh, my water broke, excuse me, and I was happy about that because I really wanted that to just happen on its own. And so a lot of things were really pleasant about my labor and delivery overall, but I did end up having to have the cesarean. So I was disappointed about that. But again, when people say don't worry about it, just you know, the prayer is that mom and baby are healthy. I hated hearing that because I really had this ideal labor and delivery in my mind and I had this desire in my heart, but now I understand. So um, that was labor and delivery. I'm looking down at some of my notes here because I want to make sure I get everything in this video. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is when you compare expectations with, rea with reality, that's not to be confused with 
you know, your desire, your faith, and the promise. Um, we have so many things that we expect when we're going into labor and delivery. And that is a good thing. We should have expectations. I do believe that that follows the line of having faith, of believing the things that God's word says and he promises, and just submitting our desires to the Lord. With that being said, you never know what's going to actually happen. And so really relinquishing any kind of stress or anxiety in advance, any fear in advance, relinquish those things, surrender it to the Lord and say, God, I'm choosing to trust you that you know me, you know my body, you know this child, and I'm asking for your grace. I'm asking for your will to be done. Um, and you just kind of have to go with it. And so present your request to the Lord. Share with him your desires and trust that he's going to be with you throughout the entire process of your labor and delivery. Okay, the next thing is recovery. So I did, like I mentioned, have a C-section. So that recovery was something serious. I'm telling you, I think honestly, and it hasn't been until this moment that I'm thinking about it, that the recovery was harder and more painful than the actual like contractions and labor and all that for me um i have friends who delivered vaginally and they recovered very quickly they were like good to go in the next couple days the recovery for a cesarean is very very difficult i needed so much help thankfully my mom was here my husband was here they helped me with so many things i can't even explain in detail how helpful it was to have um, them with me I struggled to get up and down out of the bed to pick anything up um, it was really difficult and it was very frustrating there were times where I just stopped and I just bawled I just was crying out of frustration because I thought like it would be so different you know once you have the baby then I can move around and just me and my baby and we're all this but I was in so much pain um, and I just was uncomfortable, uncomfortable, excuse me. And I had, you know, a lot of gas in my, in my belly. There are a lot of things that happen, um, after having a cesarean that you just don't know until you're in it. And everybody's, you know, recovery time is different. Everyone's body kind of bounces back differently. Um, thankfully I will say after about eight weeks or so, I was good, um, I still felt a lot of numbness. I still have a little bit of numbness now and I'm almost six months um, um, out of having the surgery, but it is major surgery. So be, um, you know, be gentle with your body. Um, and just, again, it's a lot of prayer and a lot of help is very important during that time of recovery. Um, but it was definitely a very, very painful recovery for me. Um, and you know the other thing i would say is just really communicate communicate what's happening if you're feeling emotional if you're feeling disappointed about you know how your body is is handling the transition um if you need help ask just be be very honest and be very gracious towards yourself because it can be a very difficult transition Something else that I thought was interesting was clothing. I thought that I would be able to at least wear certain clothes that I was wearing, you know, before I was pregnant or at least a few months into pregnancy. Um, my belly went down pretty quickly. I was um, nursing and breastfeeding immediately. And oh my gosh, that was another thing that I did not know about. When I first started breastfeeding, like those first two days in the hospital, I had the worst like pain like contraction like feelings in my uterus I did not know to expect that I wanted to like take the baby off of um, my breast immediately because it was so painful not because the nursing was super painful but because of the feelings that I had in my uterus it was so painful my uterus was um, shrinking and that obviously is a part of, of one of the great uh, byproducts of nursing is that your uterus shrinks down a little bit more quickly. Um, but nonetheless, when I, you know, even like six, eight, six to eight weeks out of having the baby, I thought like I could put on at least my like baggy jeans. And it's weird because my belly was going down, but my clothes still didn't fit. And I just thought, this is so awkward. 
I don't know what to wear. My maternity clothes are too big. My pre-pregnancy clothes are too small. The things that I thought I could wear, I can't wear. So my advice to you, if you are, um, you know, kind of in that awkward stage or just kind of planning ahead for your your pregnancy is to buy a lot of loose, comfortable clothing that have elastic in them or that, you know, you can um, use a drawstring, something that is very comfortable um, that you can just kind of lounge in. I mean, I, I was in pajamas most of the time anyways um, because we were just home and you just want everything to be super accessible. Um, half the time you're probably walking around the place half naked anyways because you're nursing um, and you're just, you know, you're always ready to go for nursing. So um, that was interesting. And even finding clothing that would be suitable for nursing uh, when I did go out, I thought that was interesting. Like, you know, wearing a shirt like this seems like something that you would just normally wear. But when you're planning on nursing, you have to prepare. So there are... Um, tops and dresses that are made with specific you know flaps and things like that for you to nurse your baby very easily um, but I most mostly I did a lot of layering so I would wear like a nursing tank with a button-up or something or a cardigan or something around um, on top of it so it just depends but I thought that was really interesting why I couldn't fit into certain clothing even though my belly had gone down I realized that my whole entire body shape was just different. I hope this video was helpful to you all and uh, I will see you guys in the new year. Enjoy and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.